LED phase dimming is simple to use because its connection only has a single live wire for LED dimming operation. In the previous video, we have already covered the Sora dimmable GU10 bulbs with our new device, the DZ3G450DIAL. And we're glad to update that our new device has just passed the CE certification and will be launching the product to market in June 2017. In this video, we will introduce the multi-power phase dimmable constant current LED driver option that can further simplify phase dimming applications. Most of the constant current LED drivers only have a single fixed output current, 350 or 700 milliamps, for example. If the output current does not meet the fixture requirement, you will need a different LED driver. Multi-power drivers offer the advantage to the user or installer to select the constant current output for connecting to the LED lighting fixtures. In the market, there are not too many multi-power constant current LED drivers that support phase dimming. Here we have two multi-power models from our LED driver manufacturer partner, IDP Power Technology. It's 18 and 28 watts models. If you are familiar with multi-power drivers, you'll recognize the dip switch here, which is used for selecting the output current. To illustrate this application, we have the 28 watts driver as connected to the constant current LED MR16 from Sora. This LED MR16 has a typical forward voltage range of 25 volt to 30 volt and requires a typical constant current of 300 milliamps to drive. Now that we have connected the driver and the LED together, let's see the dimming operation at 350 milliamps. What's interesting is that if you find if you want to reduce the maximum brightness, you may do so by only reducing the output current to a different level by making the selection with the dip switch. Now on the other hand, if you want to set a minimum brightness for the lamp, again we can use use the minimum brightness setting option with our DZ 3 g 450 DIAL, which we'll now show. For our new device, the feature button is located just under the dimmer button cap here. A quick press of the feature button would set the minimum level. To clear the memory, hold the same feature button and perform a reboot operation to the dimmer. Make sure you are holding the feature button during the process and only release it when the blue LED indicator is back on again. If the installation has a toggle switch besides the dimmer, you may do the same with the on-off toggle switch. So in summary, with the multi-power drivers, this setup enables the user or installers to set either the minimum or the maximum brightness level for their own applications. Note, although it's possible to have the Sora dimmable GU10 bulb and the constant current LED MR16 bulbs connected together to our LED dimmer, we do not recommend such connection. And this is because different LED drivers have different startup levels. So stick with one brand of the LED drivers or splits the dimming control for different types of light bulbs is recommended. So let's conclude our video here. To learn more about our dimming technology and product benefits, please check out our, our product page and other videos in the series. Once again, thank you for watching.